Hello YouTube. Um, so you read the title, you know what's happening. This is a haul kind of slash just like styling video. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, but I think what held me back was the fact that like I didn't feel grounded in my style yet. Like I feel like the past like three years my style has changed so much and I feel like I see comments all the time that are like Every time I see you, you have a different style. But I think what I've realized recently is I'm not somebody who has like a distinct style and I used to think I needed to do that. Like, oh my God. If I was gonna wear something feminine, I needed to stick to being feminine. And like, if I was gonna wear something more masculine, I had to stick to that and whatever. But I think at this point, I kind of just dress day to day. So it's a little more fun and interesting and I feel like there's a little more variety. Although I have become very basic within what I wear. Like. I think I just don't try that hard anymore. Um, I I just go with what comes naturally. I do want to take a moment to thank the partner of this video, ThreadUp. ThreadUp was kind enough to partner with me um, and we wanted to just kind of highlight not only sustainability within fashion, but Earth Day is coming up and I think a really good day, a, a really good way to honor the Earth and sustainability is within fashion because it can be such an impeding thing and genre to the planet we live on and I think when you're shopping you should really keep that in mind. Um, a lot of the pieces that I have in this video are thrifted from ThreadUp and if you don't know what ThreadUp is, it's a secondhand online shopping website that honestly more of y'all need to tap into. Digging through ThreadUp is such a fun thing for me especially because I love fashion and clothing so much so it feels good to know that everything I'm getting is secondhand and that the things I am buying I do plan on keeping in my life for a very long time at this point and also it is so fun to like dig through it's it's like going to a thrift store without having to actually leave your house which can be not good for my wallet sometimes but very good for my brain but also actually really good for my wallet because ThreadUp has insane pricing. A few of the pieces I have are under $20, which is pretty insane, especially with the market of clothing right now. And I found a bunch of really nice designer pieces for prices that I wouldn't see anywhere else. And I just feel like everything I got off there was a steal and I'm really excited to show you guys how I styled them for this video. Anytime I show a piece from ThreadUp, I will be giving the estimated retail and then what I paid for for it, which also makes me feel so good when I'm on that damn app. I'm seeing the deal. I'm getting the deal. I'm being sustainable. I'm pleasing the earth. I'm pleasuring the earth. Also, my chair is really squeaky, so shut the fuck up. But yeah, this video, um, I've never done a video like this, so it was a little difficult. This is actually my second time filming it. First time I did it in the daytime and I wanted to throw up. I hate, I hate filming videos in the daytime. It pisses me off. Like, I don't know why, it, it makes me mad. Unless it's like a vlog or something fun, but like... Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. When you use ThreadUp, don't forget to use code ENYA for 30% off and free shipping. Let's start. From the first outfit is one of my favorite pieces that I got from ThreadUp. This cop copine skirt, which I actually love so much. I've one thing I've gotten really good at is actually wearing my clothing. I think I had like a really bad habit when I was young because of when I was younger, we didn't get to have like nice clothing, so I would never wear my nice clothing up until like kind of this year. I would buy nice things and then I just wouldn't wear them because I'd be like, oh, I have to save this for a special event. Not anymore because I got this out the box and I've worn it almost too many times at this point, but this is my favorite outfit that I've styled it with so far. Um, it's still a little cool on a lot of days here in LA, so we can get away with outfits like this. And I feel like it's still cool in a lot of cities across the US, although it's it's getting to that time where it's hot. You can still get away with this kind of outfit. Um, I styled this cop copine skirt, which I just think is really sweet. Also, it's kind of see-through, so that's why I pair it with tights sometimes, but also, if I'm feeling a little cheeky in the daytime, I'll wear some white underwear with it. Just be a little sexy slay. And then I <laughs> added this vintage crew neck um, that I just got at a random shop in LA. 
I really like the way this fits me. I'm usually not like a hoodie crew neck girl. That's something I've tried to tap into a little more recently, but I think I just have to find ones that fit me nice. And I love the way this one fits me, and I think it's very cute. And I paired it with these boots. I love these boots so much. I don't know if you can notice, I'm so insecure about it. They are like a size too big for me, but I refuse to not wear them because I spent a good amount on them. They're Aunt Demuster. I can never say that bitch's name. But I love them so much. They do have a redone heel because if you buy vintage shoes, you know they fall apart a lot of the time. Um, but I love these so much. The reason I got them is because of the Mew Mew Fall 22 collection. <laughs> I'm getting those damn boots when they come out. And then I just paired it with some tights and some long white socks. Um, yeah. And, oh, and this really cute necklace I got today. I actually got this today. You're going to see that I'm doing... A lot of crosses. I'm into my cross era. I'm in my Catholicism, but like aesthetically era. Um, I'm in my like watching my mom back out of the driveway with her rosary on the dash and being like, que Dios me cuida and giving me extreme paranoia. So now every time I leave the house, I'm like, oh my God, I hope God protects me. I'm gonna freak out and I'm gonna die. Uh. But in a slay way. For the next outfit, the next two pieces are actually both from ThreadUp and I love them so much. This one's kind of serving fall, very much so, yes. I look very witchy, I look very sexy, I'm serving sex appeal, like, oh my god, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna throw up. I have to burp so bad and it won't come out. But I love this skirt so much and it's an Anna Sui skirt and it's this velvet material, which I think is why it also feels very like fall to me. Um, so I'm like, okay, spring, summer, this isn't a vibe, but at night it's a vibe. Any outfit can be a vibe if it is dark out, which sounds like you're hiding the outfit, but like anything that's like fall oriented, you could just, it could be sexy at night, any time of the year, if it's cool enough where you live. But yeah, this really sweet and sweet skirt, I'm literally never attracted to this kind of like velvet 2014 ass material, but I've been tapping in. I paired it with this Mew Mew shirt. I love the cut of this shirt. I've worn it. A handful of times too already I wore this also with like my varsity jacket from stray rats the other night and it's just so sexy I would I was gonna fuck that fucking jacket in this video but I wear that thing so often like y'all have seen me wear that damn jacket um but I love this shirt it's sexy I feel sexy and then I paired it with these um Vera Wang like kitten heels I don't think these are real Vera Wang. Like, there's no way. I got them for $10, but, you know. Bows, cute, um, just sexy, simple, easy to run around in. I just feel like it amps up the look even more than it already is. Because I feel like long sleeve with a long maxi skirt and heels is serving sexy. So, this is like I'm going to dinner and I'm having one drink with my girls. Next outfit. Okay, listen. This tank top is my pride and joy. This damn tank top. I've had this for about a year now and it's probably one of my most worn things I own. Um, it's this diesel top from who knows when. If I can unfold it, that'd be awesome. I'm wearing like the noisiest bracelets on planet Earth right now. It's this like halter kind of tank from diesel. Um, I love this top so much that I'm a psychopath and I found it online recently and I almost purchased another one just in case this one like gets messed up but this one's a medium and it fits me perfectly and I, it, the other one was a small so if you find it somehow I guess it's yours. Um, I love this thing so much I think it's so flattering and easy to put on especially because it has like kind of a tapered top and then it puffs at the end it just like slims you out and I it's it, I can pair it with anything I wear it with jeans I wear it with skirts I wear it all the time and I love the way it looks with both of these skirts so this one is a long like kind of maxi cargo with a slit at the bottom this is another piece I've had forever and it's just like these kind of pieces don't go out of style to me blue asphalt is the brand again just a random thrift friend of mine and then this one is a Patagonia skirt squirt from Thread Up that I also love so much. I think it's so cute. I love 
anything this like nylon material I think it, it it's so good <laughs> yeah yeah I dabble in fashion yeah I went to FIT I went to Parsons I went to School of Design in the Michigans and the States but yeah super cute it also has like a very tiny where the hell is it a tiny little slit so if you want to be crazy and be a whore but I love these so much these are like a old pair from like 2010 um, I love these Nike ACGs I have these in like a kind of like beige Tim colorway too um, be warned though if you're looking for these kind of shoes the soles always rip off so I've had to get these repaired and then I got them repaired and then I just shoe gooed them because I love these shoes so much I wear the hell out of them especially in the summer This outfit I love so much. I've been a bit of a bloomer girl for the spring, summertime. Um, again, it's just like easy, it's cute, it's very flattering, very youthful, very running around, very like leg, thigh. <sighs> there you go. Also, fun fact, I start all of my outfits like with the bottom first and then a top because I find that it's easier that way because if you know where the bottoms land, easier to pick a top that like is flattering to your proportions. Also, something to think about, you might not be a high top girl. You might not be a high top jeans, high top, a high waisted girl. I always went for high waisted things and then I found out that if it lands below my belly button, it's way more flattering on me because I have a shorter torso and I was always rocking the like high waisted jeans and crop top kind of situation and then I found that it's just like not that flattering on me. I have these Pretty's Bloomers, Pretty's Venice, also ignore that, it's not what you think. Um, I was out literally with Drew's family eating uh, chips and guac and the guac fell down my blouse and onto my shorts. So I start with these, these cute shorts, these are their bloomers that they have and then I pair it with this John Galliano blouse um, that I love so much, it's so flattering, has a bow. I I found it recently in like a white color and I think I'm gonna do it because I get really good wear out of this top and I like love it so much. And then this comb cardigan that I love so much. Had this for a while, I've gotten really good wear out of it. It's literally see-through so I don't wear white when I wear this because then you can really see it but sometimes I do if I want to be crazy. Also are you, like with every comb piece I have I'm like do I take this damn thing out but then I'm like I'm gonna lose that button. So I'm not gonna take it out. I'm just gonna let this button, sh like this tag show when I wear this. And I just pair this with my Celine loafers, which I get way, almost way too much wear out of. I gotta stop wearing those damn shoes. So this, again, is more of like a cold weather kind of setup. This bodysuit from Jill Rodriguez with the tag falling off, because so I wear the hell out of her. Um, I love this thing. I have so many bodysuits right now. I've gotten a few from like Los Angeles Apparel too that are like high neck with low back and they're so flattering and so easy to style. I really am like, I need to invest in some short sleeve ones though because when it's hot I'm not running those things because they're very warm. But they're, they look so good. I love the way they look on me. And they're really easy to pair with anything. I always just pair them with like a random skirt that I'm feeling that day. Um, I think this one in particular though looks really good with both of my like all over print heaven skirts. It's the Virgin Suicides one. And then this is the Teenagers Kissing Ed Templeton one. And I feel like these skirts are the kind of thing that people can be very overwhelmed by because it's an all over print. But when you just subdue it with a really plain top, it's actually super simple and it doesn't look like too much. I did style both of these like a little differently, like not that much. Also, I'm not really showing anything, but like bows, like hair bows, we all know it's in. We're all loving it. That's something I've been playing with and throwing on all the time recently. But also jewelry, like if you've known me for a while, you know I'm a jewelry girl. Like I went through a small silver phase and then I threw that away and I'm back to gold and I love gold jewelry so much. I just have so many like family heirlooms that are gold jewelry and 
it's like a big part for me culturally like like some of the necklaces and like rings I have or from family members and a lot of the earrings I have are from my mom like my mom gives me jewelry all the time um and yeah I love it so much but I've been trying to do a good job of like shaking it up I'm just gonna put the names of where I got a lot of the jewelry but like Mason, my friend Mason has a brand coming soon. Um, BB Bella has insane jewelry. I love her moth ring, like it's one of my grails. Um, Brooke makes really good jewelry, like these like big necklace pieces that I love. Um, yeah, I've just been really into jewelry and like also big jewelry, like I don't know, I've just been really into big jewelry, stacking it. I wanna make noise when I walk in a room. I wanna like, and then with those outfits, I styled two shoes I got from Thread Up. This pair is a uh, um, Salvatore Ferragamo. I actually show like two shoes in the try on because the first pair, like the Mary Jane esque pair, I got like a few months ago. And then when I was on Thread Up, I was looking up Sal. I can't say that name. Ferragamo shoes. Oh my god. Um, Thread Up is stocked up on these cute ass shoes. I just think they're so sweet and like easy to throw on. I've been really into like any shoe that I can just slip my foot into and it elevates my style. My, my whole idea for clothing right now is just like, I don't want to think about it. I don't want it to be hard. I want to go into my closet and just throw something together and know that it'll look good because I'm just like building out a closet for simplicity, for ease, something that'll last forever. But then sometimes I slay. And then these Alaya shoes are so fucking cute. Sorry, I just dropped those shoes. Both of these have bows on them because I'm fucking crazy. But the bows on this is so dainty. Uh, I love these. I really love these. Like, I've worn the hell out of these. I think they're so cute. I was really wanting a pair of ballet flats for a long time. But, er, no, I have a lot of ballet flats. It's actually almost psychotic it all started with this like i think 2003 2004 comb pair that i was on the hunt for for like the past two years i just couldn't find them in my size i couldn't find them at a price that i was willing to pay for them and then finally i found them but they're like just a little too small because they're such a like like dense like leather they, they don't have like much like movement to them so i literally never wear these but i refuse to give them up because they're such a like long time grail of mine and then the past year like in my search for the perfect ballet shoe it just like skyrocketed and now i just have like such a, a disgusting amount of like ballet-esque shoes which i'm not I, i'm not mad at i think it's a style although like it is in trend right now i do think it's a style that'll like last for quite some time because it's just simple, it's very feminine, it's very easy, and this is me trying to convince myself that I don't have an addictive personality. Anyway, I really like these shoes. One of the last outfits. Also, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit I'm wearing right now, which is just like Levi jeans, this random like top, like I don't even know where it's from. But yeah, it's super cute, like kind of a quarter sleeve, not quarter sleeve, what is this? considered a three-fourth sleeve a 75th sleeve and then some jeans and these vintage brown goofy oh goofy loafers <laughs> yeah my goofy loafers my vintage goofy loafers i wear loafers like every day but yeah the outfit i'm wearing right now is more of like an every single day like i would wear this and like the bloomers fit is kind of like I would actually all of these are very I would wear any of these any given day at this point it just depends on how I feel when I wake up and that's it I think that's it for this video thank you so much to the wonderful the wickedly talented threat up um, for partnering with me for this video I really had fun doing this um it was so hard for me to not make this the longest video ever. That's why I had to refilm it. It's because the other one was devastatingly long. And I had so many pieces of clothing that I wanted to show. And then I was like, okay, I need to get a grip and scale back. Because I can just make another video if you guys would like to see it. Um, yeah. Help me know what your favorite outfit was. <laughs> and make sure to use Thread Up on your next shopping endeavor. Yeah. Mwah.